It's been quite a rough few years, and I know what's on your mind. Travel. If you've ever wondered how people travel for free using credit cards, you've come to the right video. If you love to travel, using travel reward credit cards to rack up points to spend on free travel is a no-brainer. With travel ramping up again, there's so many different travel credit cards that you can choose from. In today's video, I'll be going over the 5 best travel credit cards that you can use to travel for free. In my personal opinion, these 5 cards are the best travel credit cards that you can currently get to help you save tens and thousands of dollars the next time you travel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Paul and I create content on personal finance, entrepreneurship, investing, and travel. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more future content. For each of the cards on this list, we'll go over the range of credit scores needed to be approved, the current point sign up bonuses, as well as all the perks and benefits. The first card on this list is the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. This is a personal credit card of mine that I've been personally using for the past two years. This card is one of Chase's premium travel credit cards, so the recommended credit score falls between 700 to 850. As of this video, the current sign up bonus is 60,000 points after you spend $4,000 in the first three months of card opening. Now this point bonus has been higher in the past, hitting almost 100,000 points. With this card, you'll get 5 times points back on any travel that you purchase through Chase's travel portal. You'll earn 2 times points on all other travel purchases. You'll also earn 3 times points on any dining, takeout, or delivery services. You'll also be able to earn 3 times points on online grocery purchases, excluding Target, Walmart, and wholesale clubs like Costco and Sam's Club. You'll also earn 3 times points back on select streaming services, and you'll earn 1 times points back on any other purchases. This card also gives you the option of transferring your Chase Ultimate Reward points directly to select airlines at a 1 to 1 value. You'll be able to use these points to book plane tickets with these select airlines. You'll get amazing travel benefits including trip cancellation interruption insurance, auto rental collision damage waiver, baggage delay insurance, trip delay reimbursement, and travel and emergency assistance services. You'll also earn 5 times points on lift rides through March 31st of 2025. You'll also get complimentary access to a Dash Pass subscription and a $10 monthly statement credit for GoPuff. This card has no foreign transaction fees, but it does come with a $95 annual fee. But looking at the perks of this card, the perks totally outweigh the $95 annual fee. In my personal opinion, this card is perfect for anyone with decent credit who wants to start racking up travel points to spend on travel in the near future. Personally, I'm planning a trip to the Maldives with my Chase points. The second card on this list is Chase's Sapphire Reserve credit card. This card is pretty much the big brother to the Sapphire Preferred credit card. The recommended credit score for this card is also between 700 to 850, and the card's point bonus sits at around 60,000 after you spend $4,000 on the first three months of card opening. The benefits of this card include five times points back on flights booked through Chase's travel portal. You'll earn 10 times points back on car rentals and hotels when booked through Chase. You'll earn three times points back on any other travel worldwide. You'll earn 10 times points back on any Chase Dining with Ultimate Rewards, and you'll earn 3 times points back on any other dining or takeout from other restaurants. Lastly, you'll earn 1 times points back on any other purchases. Since this is a more premium card than the Sapphire Preferred, there are a few more notable benefits. First, you'll receive a $300 annual travel credit each anniversary year. This credit can be used on any travel charges to your credit card. You'll also receive TSA PreCheck or Global Entry for free through Chase. You'll also have access to 1,300 plus complimentary lounges from Priority Pass just by holding this card. You also get free room upgrades, early check-in and late check-out at select hotels throughout the world. This card also has no foreign transaction fees, but it does come with a $500 annual fee. But looking at the provided benefits, the $300 travel credit, the $100 TSA pre-check, and the $100 value priority pass lounge, these benefits will pay for your annual fee if you're someone who travels a lot. This card is perfect for anyone who travels regularly and would like a more premium card than the Sapphire Preferred. The third card on this list is a Capital One Venture X Rewards credit card. This is actually a pretty new card. It was released in November of 2021 with the purpose of taking on the Chase and Amex luxury travel card space. Similar to the previous two cards, the recommended credit score for this card is around 700 to 850. The current point bonus is 75,000 after you spend $4,000 in the first three months of card opening. You'll earn 10 times points back on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel. You'll get 5 times points on flights booked through Capital One Travel and 2 times points on any other purchases. This card also comes with really great benefits which include a 300 travel statement credit which you can use on any travel with your credit card. You'll also get TSA PreCheck or Global Entry for free which is a $100 value. You'll also get 10,000 bonus points and miles every anniversary year. You also have access to the 1,300 plus complimentary priority pass lounges, trip cancellation and interruption insurance, trip delay reimbursement, lost luggage reimbursement, 
cell phone protection, and primary rental car insurance. This card currently has a $350 annual fee, but the $300 travel credit along with the $100 TSA pre-check pretty much makes up for the annual fee. So who is this card for? This card is perfect for anyone who wants a luxury travel credit card but doesn't want to pay a super high annual fee. The fourth card on this list is American Express's Gold Card. The recommended credit score for this card sits at around 700 to 850, and the current point bonus is 75,000 points after you spend $4,000 in the first six months of card opening. For dining, you'll earn four times points on restaurants worldwide. You'll earn four times points at US supermarkets. You'll earn $120 Uber cash credit, where you can use $10 each month to get reimbursed for Uber rides or Uber Eats. You'll also get $120 dining credit, where you can earn up to $10 in statement credits after using your gold card to spend at Grubhub, the Cheesecake Factory, Goldbelly, Wine.com, Milk Bar, and select Shake Shack locations. In terms of travel, you'll earn 3 times points on any flights booked through airlines directly or through Amex Travel. You'll also get a $100 experience credit when you book hotels through Amex Travel. This card currently has no foreign transaction fees, but it does come with a $250 annual fee. If you factor in the $120 Uber credit along with the $120 dining credit, your annual fee pretty much comes out to $10. This card is perfect for anyone who spends a lot of money on food, groceries, eating out, as well as travel. If you're one of these people, you'll be able to maximize the full benefits of this Amex Gold card. The fifth card on this list is American Express Platinum Credit Card. The American Express Platinum Card is American Express's most premium travel credit card. The recommended credit score for this card also falls between 700 to 850. The current point bonus for this card is 100,000 points after you spend $6,000 in the first six months of you owning the card. You'll earn five times points back on any flights booked through direct airlines as well as Amex Travel. You'll get five times points back on prepaid hotels through Amex Travel. You'll also get two times points back on any travel expenses booked through Amex Travel. And you'll earn one times points per dollar spent on any other purchases. In terms of benefits for this card, you'll be able to earn up to $200 in statement credits for airline incidental fees such as check baggage or in-flight refreshments. You'll receive up to $200 in Uber fees for Uber rides. You'll also get a $200 annual hotel credit. You also receive up to $300 in Equinox credit where you can use $25 per month. You also receive a $240 entertainment credit. You also receive a $189 clear credit which is a program where it uses biometrics to bypass security lines at airports. You also receive reimbursement for TSA pre-check or global entry and you'll receive up to $100 annually in statement credits at Saks Fifth Avenue. The best benefit of this Amex Platinum credit card is that you get access to a large selection of airport lounges. Some of these lounges include the Amex Centurion Lounge, the Delta the Sky Club lounges, as well as Priority Pass lounges. Some more benefits of this card include free shipping with ShopRunner, a concierge service, low fares to the international airline program, purchase protection, return protection, extended warranty, baggage insurance plan, car rental loss and damage insurance, travel accident insurance, and premium roadside assistance 24 hours a day. There are no foreign transaction fees with this card, but it does come with a hefty annual fee of $695 a year. However, if you factor in all the benefits and perks that this card provides, there's plenty of opportunity to offset the high annual fee. This card is perfect for anyone who travels very often and wants to travel in luxury. You must be someone who travels a lot to take advantage of all the perks and benefits to offset the high annual fee. Travel credit cards can give you points that can help you ultimately travel for free. You earn points by spending on things you would already spend your money on such as any necessities, groceries, or everyday spending. If you want to save a lot of money on travel, consider getting one of the 5 cards on today's list. That's it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Paul and I create content on personal finance, investing, entrepreneurship, and now travel. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button and subscribe for more future videos as it really does help me out a lot at no cost to you. I have a lot of upcoming content so be on the lookout. I really do appreciate every single one of you watching. Always remember that your life is a masterpiece, so let's unlock that full financial potential together. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.